When Pablo prepares food, Yasmin mows the lawn, Wurim beats morning traffic, Salim drives his forklift, or Jeffrey roasts coffee, they all have something in common. They rely on the exceptional energy that is LPG. There are more than 1,000 applications for LPG and over a billion people use LPG and depend on it at home, on the farm, in their car, or for businesses, or for fun. LPG is efficient, safe, portable, clean and versatile. It offers instant, perfectly controllable heat and can be easily transported or stored locally, yet its impact is global. As a low-carbon, low-polluting fuel, LPG is recognised by governments around the world for the contribution it can make towards reducing greenhouse gas emissions, cleaner air and fighting deforestation. According to the World Health Organisation, 4.3 million people a year die from exposure to household air pollution. The switch from traditional biomass, such as wood or dung, to LPG can also have a profound impact on society, especially on lives of lower income families and women, be it through improved health, safety, efficient cooking or replacing the time spent collecting firewood by more productive activities. LPG is also a proven solution to combat outdoor air pollution. For almost all sources of pollution, be it transport, industry, heating or cooking, LPG offers a clean alternative. LPG is also a fuel that is available in even the remotest of areas, improving the lives of millions of citizens worldwide and providing an impetus to regional development. As relatively few rural or remote areas can benefit from piped natural gas, LPG is an ideal power source for these areas, either as a primary source or in combination with renewable energy. LPG is also increasingly used for large-scale power generation. Not only is LPG easy to transport, it is also the most used alternative transport fuel and is increasingly being adopted to combat air pollution, with new LPG electric hybrids combining the best of both worlds. But what is LPG? LPG stands for liquefied petroleum gas and the term is used to describe two natural gas liquids, propane and butane, or a mix of the two. Propane and butane are chemically quite similar, but the small differences in their properties means that they are particularly suited to specific uses. Propane's lower boiling point is perfect for outdoor storage and it is primarily used for central heating, commercial applications, cooking and transport. Butane mainly shipped in cylinders for portable applications, such as mobile heaters, or for leisure activities, such as boats, caravans and barbecues. Butane can also be used as a propellant, refrigerant or to fuel welding torches. Often, propane and butane will be mixed to get the best energy yields and properties. LPG was first produced in 1910 by Dr Walter Snelling. It currently provides about 3% of all energy consumed globally and is used by over a billion people on all continents. At normal temperature and pressure, LPG is gaseous. It changes to a liquid when subjected to modest pressure or cooling and is stored as a liquid in cylinders or bulk tanks. It turns back into gas vapour when you release some of the pressure. In its liquid form, LPG looks like water, yet because of its unique properties, one litre of liquid LPG expands to 270 litres of gaseous energy, allowing a lot of energy to be transported in a compact container. The unique properties of this exceptional low carbon energy allow it to be transported and stored just about anywhere and provide people and businesses with a source of energy that emits virtually no soot very few sulphur emissions and low CO2 emissions compared to commonly used alternatives. But where does LPG come from? It all starts with nature. Propane and butane, which make up LPG, are naturally occurring. The majority of LPG is recovered during natural gas and oil extraction, whilst the remaining 40% is a co-product of oil refining. Most natural gas wells are wet wells, 
As natural gas comes out of the ground, it contains a number of other natural gas liquids that represent up to 10% of the total volume. These include propane and butane, also known as LPG. LPG is also a co-product of oil refining. In an oil refinery, LPG is separated at various stages and represents between 1 and 4% of crude oil volume that was processed. Recently, new methods of producing LPG from renewable sources and waste have come online. These forms of bio-LPG combine all the benefits of LPG with extremely low carbon emissions. Once extracted or refined, LPG can be safely shipped by sea, rail or road all over the world. In most cases, LPG is transported in dedicated tankers or trains to a global network of terminals in ports or railheads that can store large amounts of LPG for local distribution. From then on, the way LPG is distributed is tailored to local requirements. No other form of energy is as versatile and can be delivered just about anywhere from the remote villages to upmarket suburban areas and city centres. LPG can be safely transported and stored in bulk tanks or cylinders and is distributed by pipeline, ships, boats, trucks, smaller vehicles, motorbikes, bicycles or even by donkeys. Yet it requires only minimal infrastructure. LPG cylinders come in a wide range of shapes and sizes so customers can order exactly the quantity they need. In larger areas, the LPG distribution is layered with large regional depots and smaller cylinder storage facilities to make logistics more efficient. LPG is delivered to businesses or people's doorsteps and thousands of retail outlets and service stations sell cylinders. Over 4 million people and thousands of companies from global actors to self-employed distributors work day in and day out to make sure LPG makes it to the customers in time. These unique distribution models have allowed people from all walks of life to build successful businesses. The global LPG distribution model is a virtual pipeline that is adaptable, safe, versatile, efficient, cost-effective and works everywhere powered by exceptional people. Clean energy delivered.